Today I want to take a look at Microsoft Power Platform and how we can use Power Apps Data Flow to read an Excel workbook and populate a Dataverse table. So Data Flow is an interesting new feature in Power Platform that lets us move data from one location to another. And Data Flow offers a lot of different formats. Here I'm going to make one for Northwind customers. We'll go ahead and create. And we have all of this variety of different choices that we can pick from. A blank query, SharePoint list, many, many choices. Here we'll go ahead and pick an Excel workbook. And we have one available for the Northwind customers table saved into OneDrive. After selecting our file, we click Next. And we're given a table that shows our schema. Here we'll select Table 1 for our scope to import. You can see all of the column headings as well as the sample data. We'll click Transform. And on the next screen, you have the full Power Query language available in the browser, including the Advanced Editor, where we can use M language for transforming and formatting the data. So we have different things here, like maybe this first column we want to transform and set the data type as whole number. Maybe we want to mark that as a primary key, and it applies the step on the right. We'll click Next to continue. Many options for formatting here. Our goal is not only to load the data, but also to package as a solution. And packaging will allow portability to other environments. And here you can see the system is suggesting all of the destination column data types and names based on the names of the source columns. We're going to enable this option to delete those that no longer exist in the source and provide a backup primary key of ID, because that is something that we marked in our original schema as a primary key. It does have its own auto-generated key for tracking. We'll use both as a backup. Click Next. From here, we can go ahead and publish our data flow, and that will populate our table. We can pull the drop-down menu and click Refresh Now to run manually, or we can give it a schedule to run daily. Now, from the Solutions menu on the left-hand side, we can create a new solution to package both the data flow and the tables together. In making a new solution, we'll go ahead and give it a name on the right-hand side, click More Options just to see what's available, and nothing really here we want to change. We'll go for all of the default values, version 1, default publisher, unmanaged package type, create. Now from the solution builder, we can add existing items and go ahead and include things from our system that have already been created. Now the reason we want to make a solution is for portability and lifecycle. It also helps with backups. It's a great way to export, snapshot, and backup the entire system, the data flow with the tables connected together. So here we're going to go ahead and do add from existing and choose data flow. We'll see the one for Northwind customer that we just created. And we'll go ahead and click Add. And we know that's the one because it was just created today. We can see that that has been successfully added. So now we can do Add Existing. We can choose Tables. We have several different options here. And we want to go find our Northwind customers. There it is. And we know it's one that we created because of the prefix, that this looks different than the other system tables, which will have a different naming pattern. We'll go ahead and click Next. And we'll go ahead and add that to our solution with the default settings. So now we've created a solution that has both the storage, the Dataverse table, and the data flow together. You can see that these are different items because of the icon. Data flow has a slightly different icon than that of a table. Both are in the solution, and now we're ready to publish. So we'll go ahead and click Publish on the top. Hmm. And we get an icon that says Publish Succeeded with a green bar. Really cool stuff. So now if we come back to Solutions, we can see one for Northwind Customer, and we can click Export. Export is fantastic, because this is what creates a managed solution that's packaged dependencies. It's a zip file that contains everything you need to bring this functionality to a different tenant. So you may move from one Office 365 tenant to another, acceptance, test, production. You may need to lifecycle or snapshot and take backups. So as you're working with Dataverse, 
as you're working with data flows, keep in mind to bundle them as a solution and you'll be able to get these fantastic zip files that let you export, lifecycle, and really even commit this functionality to source control. If you wanted to upload that zip to GitHub or Azure DevOps and kind of track the versioning and lifecycle, this is a really good way of taking a cloud-only solution and exporting it to a file so you have a backup. Thanks for watching.